to Haiti now, the healing power of art is demonstrated in a new Washington, D.C. exhibit about the children of Haiti. VOA's Carolyn Turner has more. After the earthquake in Haiti last year, educators and politicians created a safe place for children to express their feelings through art, art that is now on display at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African Art. Curator Christine Kramer explains the museum's connection to Haiti. The National Museum of African Art, as you know, is devoted to the arts of Africa. However, we thought that this story, this exhibition, would resonate with our visitors because, of course, we're also committed to the African diaspora. While the art includes images relating to death and destruction, it also includes illustrations of houses and rescue and recovery efforts. Now, the exhibition was created uh, in six weeks, as I mentioned, uh, using almost 100 works of art created by Haitian children in a space called Place Timun. Place Timun is a safe haven for children created by Madame Preval, the First Lady of Haiti, uh, right after the earthquake. She realized that these young people had experienced unbelievable horror as the earthquake struck, as they lost family members, as they saw people suffering. Works on paper created immediately following the earthquake were dark in color and imagery. Later drawings reveal glimmers of hope and healing with brighter colors. Through art making, people begin to get in touch with their emotions, they begin to reach out again beyond their immediate surroundings, and through art making would begin to process the horrors of the earthquake and begin to regain their childhood, really. Children in Port-au-Prince who created at the Place Timon under the direction of Haitian artist Philippe Dodard connected recently by video conference with young American students at the Department of Education in Washington. Museum director Jeanetta Cole wants Haiti to be on people's minds. To have the chance to be a part of a connection between girls and boys in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and girls and boys in Washington, D.C. The deputy so chief of mission from Haiti, William Exantis, says last year's quake left Haiti's children in danger. The psychological impact of this disaster on our children demand the immediate action. During their video conference, students displayed their art and expressed hope in French and in English. Alicia Cobb sent good wishes from Washington. When you get my picture, I hope it makes you smile. Since the exhibit opened last year, visitors have drawn pictures and sent messages of friendship to the children at Place Timon. The Smithsonian is considering the works of art for greeting cards and a traveling exhibit. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.